I liked Mr. McCarthy, who was the principal at the time, very much. He was a square shooter, but he was fair. Uh, obviously, my driver had uh, mates, you know, co co-workers, Don Egan and and uh, Louis Eckler. Um, we were, you know, working together closely with that that program. Um, but uh, you know, everybody was helpful to everybody else. You know, we we were all in this together. We actually. Uh, prior to the consolidation, there was one driver and teacher in Manoa and one in East Syracuse High School. The plan was when this building opened, there would be three, and I was the third one. So I had taught some other things over at Corpville, kept waiting for the school to open, and we had three driver and teachers at that time. Well, various car dealers, um, East Syracuse Chevrolet was one. Um, I can't even remember. We got we had some uh, Dodges, Chevrolets. Well, first of all, the the uh, high school when we came in, it was 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. And it was that because, way. It they, was that way actually until yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah, because the the uh, ninth grade they had the uh, middle school was uh, seven, eight, nine back then. Mm-hmm. Then they decided to change the middle school to six, seven, and eight. Mm -hmm. And then they stuck the ninth graders down in Back in Manila, right? Yeah, all by themselves. And that wasn't really any good. I had one of my vice principals down there by the name of Mr. Tornator. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he was a vice principal. I, in fact, I recommended he be the vice principal and go down there. That was his first year as a vice principal. He got an education. Oh, I can imagine. Because <laughs> all ninth graders, was 530 of them. Really? Yeah. So is that when you were graduating a year? For about four years. In the, I'm thinking 71, 2, 3, 4. We had about five, 500, roughly 500 people because some of them didn't make it. Well, when I left, when I left the principal over there, we were about 300. It gradually reduced right three to four hundred. Well, I got along good with the Pine Grove staff. I got along fairly good with the high school. I had a couple teachers I had problems with, but, but basically I got along with all my staff. Your, your schedule is, you try to keep as many minutes as you possibly can, like it's a regular eight to three or whatever, mm -hmm. like we know about today or, or mm -hmm. less. And used to cram, if I had five classes, there were no breaks. You went and five, you straight, five more. straight classes. Uh, study halls were non-existent. Mm -hmm. uh, coaches were uh, generally teaching in the morning because you had to work in the afternoon. That, mm -hmm. Again, that, we were small enough you can do those kinds of things, but uh, generally speaking, you crammed uh, half a day or a full day's schedule into half the morning. A and uh, I started at uh, 7.30 and went till 12.30. The argumentation between East Syracuse and Manoa was big. Uh, they did not want to go together. They, Why? They were rivals uh, in most athletic events. They did not want to lose their identity, which is the very same reason why schools will not centralize today. Yeah. And, in fact, it went to, I think it was at the state Supreme Court, the vote did, because the people either in East Syracuse or Manoa Seems to me that Manoa people led the fight. They did not want to be attached to the larger district and again lose their identity. It was a lot bigger, wasn't it? East Syracuse was larger. That's correct. Okay. I don't. I can't give you numbers, but it it's was. Okay. Yes, it was larger, and uh, but there were there were people in Manoa who were arguing that the uh, voters weren't proper, much like you hear today about you know <laughs> they signed in three times or mm -hmm. something of this nature. So it was rather unclear um, just how long it was going to be, and but ultimately that it was settled. Uh, there was a, I don't know if it was a state mandate or not, but when they got through with it, whichever level of Supreme Court they went, that was the end of it. They, I don't know if they gave up and decided not. that, you know, it's a, it's a fait accompli. We're, we're done, so let's get going.